Good afternoon, everybody. It's Irene from the Penetanguishing Public Library. The gypsy moth caterpillars. They have been the creepy, crawly nightmare of the last summer and this summer. They have outbreaks every seven to ten years. In the caterpillar stage, which we've just gone through, they are invasive and destructive. They have a voracious appetite and can denude entire forests of leaves kind of right before your eyes. They are a significant pest which pose dangers to our trees and forests. Some people have an allergic reaction to the caterpillars. The eggs live through the winter on the barks of the trees. In the spring and early summer, which we saw this year, caterpillars climb the trees to eat the leaves. Their egg masses can be even found on patio furniture. So ways to deal with the infestation, a lot of people have been wrapping tree trunks in burlap bands or duct tape with Vaseline to either trap the caterpillars or to catch them as they move up and down the trees. The big news is that bug experts are seeking a new name for the destructive gypsy moths. They are dropping the common name because it's considered an ethnic slur. It's the first time the Entomological Society of America is changing an insect's name because it is considered offensive. Also, nobody wants to be associated with a harmful, invasive pest. Renaming could take several months. Uh, we'll keep you posted. In the meantime, they are going to be calling them Limantria Dispar. Have a great Tuesday, everybody. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.